Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, I make videos about Germany. No, I'm not German, I'm American. So if you wanna hear my two cents about Germany, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. So most of y'all are probably in a similar situation as I am. I'm here um, isolated in my house and um it's boring so i don't know if it's just because i have no option to go to germany right now i have no option to see my german boyfriend right now it's getting me pretty in my feels so i've just been reminiscing on a month and a half ago when i was in germany and things that i really miss about germany so for those of y'all that are new to my channel, I have been living on and off in Germany for around the past two years. Um, I was out of the U.S. for seven months this last stretch. I wasn't in Germany the whole time. I was around Asia, around Europe, just traveling around. Um, but I spent the past like two and a half months in Germany before I came back to the U.S. And... Yeah, it's just been different since I've been back. It's been really great, but unfortunately with everything that's happening, I'm gonna avoid using that certain word so this video won't get demonetized. It's just been a change, and there's just been things that I've really missed about Germany. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Here are five things that I really miss about Deutschland. Number one, I feel like this is so basic and almost every video you watch of Americans will probably say this, but I really miss public transportation. Here in the US, we do have public transportation, but it's a whole different system. Cities like New York City will have better public transportation modes, obviously, but where I'm from in Houston, Texas, we really don't use public transportation here. Not a lot of funding goes into it. Um, and it's honestly for really poor people or homeless people and the Houston area is just huge so it's just impossible to access with the public transportation especially when no money is going towards that system the metro system um, so I really miss Berlin's public transportation it's awesome the BBG don't really love the BBG workers all the time the the ticket controllers but um the BBG is awesome I mean every major city in Germany has awesome public transportation even the smaller cities and villages I really miss just being able to get on a subway U-Bahn and just relax and chill and read a book or get on my phone and get on Instagram. If y'all know me, I love Instagram. So if you're not following me yet, definitely follow me. My Instagram name is Kim Crosses Borders. I post a lot on there. So yeah, it's just different. I love having a car and I definitely think in some regards I've taken a car for granted because I don't have to wait for a bus to come I can just get in my car and go and it's quicker and it's definitely more efficient but I just love the option of having public transportation it's just such a different experience I don't know if I just love it so much too because I didn't grow up with it but it's awesome y'all take it y'all you Germans take it for granted for real like it is a really nice thing to have Number two, this is something really different, but something I really miss about Germany is the dog culture. Um, <laughs> so let me explain. I feel like in Germany and many other European countries, especially Central European countries, the dog culture is awesome. Like dogs are allowed everywhere in cafes, coffee shops stores it's such a casual thing and people don't really make a big deal about it and you even see a lot of dogs with their owners and they're off of leashes that is something so taboo here most places here like restaurants stores do not allow dogs at all unless they have a little patio outside and even then it's kind of like eh, they might not be allowed there Unless you have a service dog, those dogs are allowed everywhere, obviously, by law. 
but for the most part here the dog culture is non-existent in germany there's so many parks that are friendly for dogs i just love it and max and me are currently in search for a fur baby so if y'all germans know of any fur babies that are available right now we are trying to adopt one um it's been very hard we're looking for a really small dog since we do have a smaller apartment in berlin and um yeah we just want to love a fur baby also we work at home so it can get extremely lonely so i would love to have a little puppers on my lap this is also a ebay classifieds announcement on here we got blocked for making ebay classified posts given that i want a dog in the near future i absolutely love that about germany and i do miss just seeing dogs around just scattered around everywhere big dog here small dog here go dog go number three is i really miss the german coffee culture the coffee culture in general in europe but especially in germany um there's just nothing like going to a german coffee shop and having a coffee and a piece of cake that's not overly sweetened um here in the u.s we do i think that we actually do have pretty good coffee you can find espresso cappuccinos all of that here but it's not it's not as available as it is in germany you have to really find it so the closest coffee place to me is around a 10 minute drive and it is a starbucks and a grocery store so it's not really like you want to sit there and chill and relax it's more like you get it and you're and you leave i just really miss like the slow coffee culture in germany to get a similar type of coffee i have to drive around 35 minutes into houston to go to a coffee shop and a 150 cappuccino in germany would cost me like four dollars here so it's significantly different price wise and it's just still not the same because in the u.s we have a lot more like fast culture so and i do agree with it to some extent in restaurants with being aware if a place is busy then eat your meal and leave but when it comes to the coffee shops that's where i really just want to chill and i just feel like the culture here it doesn't have a chill coffee culture and i really miss that a lot in berlin when i would leave my apartment there would be five or six different coffee shops around me granted most of them don't take credit cards so i would always have to walk like 10 to 15 minutes to get to an atm and then go to the coffee shop but it's so awesome to have just a variety of coffee shops in Neukölln, where i where i live um and i just don't have that here and i really wish it was a thing here and i always thought maybe i could open up a little coffee shop in this little suburb that i live in but i think it would honestly fail because it's just not a part of the american culture number four is spätis so i know in the u.s we have a lot of stores that are open 24 7 and i mean there's literally a store right down the road that is open 24 7 but it's just something else a lot of people will go to Kroger's at 2 a.m. here, which is Kroger's is a grocery store, but it is for practicality. It's for shopping if you're a shift worker or getting last minute things. A Shpeti is just a whole different experience. It's like usually people go there to get booze or cigarettes and just have a social experience, which I really love that a lot. And I really miss drinking on the streets in Germany. It's just such a fun and freeing feeling. But yeah, Shpeti's it's just a whole nother thing it's an eastern german concept so it's not as common in other parts of germany but definitely the bigger cities have adapted the spätie culture because it's just freaking brilliant and i love the spätis that have so many benches outside um it's just awesome i love going to spätis and just honestly that's how i've met people too is by getting a beer at a spätie and just sitting there and striking up conversation i find that being super social in Germany can be hard, so I love the social things that Germany has, like Spätis and Biergartens. So yeah, I love Spätis. And um, the closest thing we honestly have to this in Texas, where I'm from, is Waffle House. Like Waffle House is lit at 
midnight 1 a.m after people are off of work people will really go there and socialize and have fun and talk to the workers and it's it's a really interesting experience i think max went to waffle house with me and we were kind of surprised by how full it was i don't remember number five is trains and i was literally just talking about this with somebody in my youtube comments but I really miss the train culture in Germany. Taking road trips is awesome, but for me it's a lot more stressful and it's only fun if you have fun people to do it with. The train culture is different because I think it's even fun if you're alone. Germany is right in the middle of a lot of European countries, so it makes it a great place to travel to other countries, which is what I love about Germany. Number five is the train system in Germany. So Germany is right smack dab in the middle of Europe, which makes it an awesome destination to travel to other European places, especially the cheaper Eastern European places. Um, and I absolutely love it and miss it so much. Here in Texas, if I take a road trip, I could literally keep driving for the next eight hours and still be in Texas. So it's just something else. And also, in my opinion, road trips are really boring unless you're with the right people. And trains, I find, are fun even if you're alone. So I really do miss the train system in Germany. And I miss being able to just hop over to whatever countries for a pretty reasonable price. Especially now that Flix train is a thing. That is incredible and I absolutely love it. So when my mom visited me in Berlin, she arrived to Berlin and we literally that same day took a four hour train ride to Prague, which was incredible. Um, and my mom was just so mind blown on how easy it was to do that and how cheap and affordable it was. I definitely miss how cheap it is to travel from Germany because here it's like you're pretty much stuck in Texas and everything is so big and spread out in the US. and. Gas is really cheap, so that's really nice, um, but it's just something else to take a train and sit down, read a book, enjoy the scenery, have a cup of coffee, you know, order something from the, the train cafe. I just love, love trains. I think it's the coolest experience ever. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what are you up to during these crazy times? Let me know also down in the comments below what you thought about this list. And if you're interested in seeing a part two, let me know as well. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be posting videos for the next 14 days. So I will definitely need some more video topics. I'm totally down to do a part two because I literally could have mentioned probably a thousand more things that I miss about Germany. And again, if you like this video, please remember to like it and also subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Ciao, tschüss.